And uh, this this thing has perplexed me since I've met you and since uh, you were involved in this or original debate over gender pronouns. Uh, and there was an article that was written recently. I, I forget the exact title of it. it was, I think it was something along the lines of why can't people hear what Jordan Peterson oh yeah. is saying. Yeah. Y you are misrepresented more than anyone I know in a weird way. You are villainized in a weird way where um, I can't believe that these people are honestly looking at your opinions and coming up with these conclusions. I, I, I can't help but feel like what is happening is – People are consciously deciding to ignore reality and paint you as this archetypal figure of oppressive white male patriarchy, ignorance, d d fill in the blank with all the, the rest of the descriptives that you'd like to use. But they've decided to paint you in this way like as – as a target mm -hmm. because they need a target to sort of reinforce this idea that transgender people are being victimized and women are being victimized and yeah. all e well even deeper that the right narrative is the way that we should view the world is victim versus oppressor because that's the basic postmodern neo-marxist template it's the right way to view the world is that it's a po it's a power ground it's a what it's a it's a battleground of power interests competing constantly the ones that win are oppressors. The ones that lose are oppressed. That's the way you look at the world. And I think that that's wrong. That's a bad way of looking at the world psychologically, sociologically, politically, economically, ideologically, you name it. No, it, it ends in nothing but catastrophe. I mean, first of all, because it puts your group identity as something.